legendary gang. So time boys, man, focus this video, man. If y'all boys want some nice new fresh crispy jerseys, man. I will have the link down below, man. It's immaculate jerseys, man. Shout out to him, man. Y'all see these nice, fresh, crispy jerseys. Justin Fields. Hey, use promo code Donald for ten percent off, man. Nice prices, nice everything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get into the video, man. No cap. Let's know our game. So top boys, man. Got my boy Timeless Tim, man. I ain't did my man in a while, bro. Like Timeless Tim, one of the funniest. Like, like, bro. I'm selling you, bro. Timeless took out one of the funniest stories, man. But hey, we got. School bet to grab a girl's, you know what I'm saying? Now, I, before we get to this, bro, I already know my boy got 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 rocked. You know what I'm saying? There's no way, you know what I'm saying? I want to see if you go through the bet. You know what I'm saying? You know, back in the day, school, bro, like you have bets, bro. You gotta go through them, bro. No matter what, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's the it's the G code, bro. Feel me? I miss my middle school and high school days. You know what I'm saying? My mainly middle school ain't gonna cap. You know what I'm saying? New best I ain't doing this middle school. I just know from like. Homeboy's experience, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you make sure I come here, bro. TK, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to it, man. I feel me? Oh, I'm good. <coughs> Shit, my fault. Yo, it's Principal Johnson. Wait. Damn. Uh, time to stem the goat. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> oh, shoot, I got mucus. My fault, sir. Get to it, man. Another banger. Now, before we get started, oh, you want to be a YouTuber just like your boy? Well, check out the new version of Feel More. Bro, this is exactly what I use, bro. I know this is top of This is what I use right here, too. The perfect video editor. <coughs> oh, man, I got mucus. Nah, bro, I use the same you. software, this you know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into the video, you know what I'm saying? You can apply Feel the clip. I know they paying you good money for that sponsor, boy. Ain't going to Feel me? Off of, off damn, Tim, come on, this damn shit. All right, bet, let's get to middle it. Mm, mm, mm. See, so going to middle school is the huge step for every kid. See, these are your introduction years to teenage life. Better yet, you know what introduction to your first crush. No, I ain't having like that in middle school, 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 bro. I ain't cap, I did. I'm gonna just be real. Coming somewhere around the age of ten and leave at about fourteen. Now, I still don't have it like that. You're innocent. Mom and daddy have kept you protected your whole life. Odds are you still believe in the birds and the bees. But once you hit 14, you are dating. See, these are the years when you start life. Yo, that. That's right. The time when you no longer listen to your parents. Just think back. At what age did your parents finally allow you to start dating? Even better, I didn't date. Well, Cap, I ain't even date, bro. We're living in a digital era of TikTok where everything is all about the booty. Now when it comes to Don't count. You know what I mean? People quite unique. First thing first, your boy went to an upper class middle school. See, this was due to the public school system integrating urban kids with the suburbs. Nice way of saying taking broke black kids to a prosperous white institution. Now, other than standing out as one of the few black kids on campus, everything was cool. I was a popular kid, had plenty of friends, even bagged a couple shoulders while at it. But see, it was not all I was the opposite of that. <laughs> and that's where this story begins. Like so people that personally know me, bro. I'm I was never like that top that top guy, you know what I'm saying? I never wanted to be, I ain't gonna count, feel me? I'm gonna pause it real quick, just because you're not popular, famous, bro, this don't mean nothing, that means nothing, bro. The people that be like pop, non-popular, non-famous, like anti-social, like I was, bro, feel me? They be the most pop, they be like the most silent, they be the silent, we, we call them like silent killers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they be, they be doing their own thing and they be going off, feel me? A.K.A. The Click. Now, The Click consisted of my homeboy, Billy, my guy, Sam, and my boy, Chris. The Click. Look, I did have white friends, but they didn't live in the same neighborhood as me. Now, just like most teenagers, during lunchtime, we will come up with stupid bets. Best like which one of us could run the fastest, who could no the fa No, stuff, facts. Who will be the first Facts. Know. Well, you know what I'm saying. Now, on this particular day, I was sitting next to my girl, Jenny. Now, Jenny was bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna count. I, I'm not gonna say it on camera, but if you went to my high school, you know, you, if you know, you know. You feel me? Shorty was so bad, your boy ended up taking Spanish class just to sit next to Jen. Hey, Jenny, mi amor, cuando te dije por primera vez? Bro, this how I be feeling like a college, bro. I ain't gonna count. College. <laughs> See? <laughs> Yeehaw, boy. Yeehaw. 
Kairi, eres planetero ahora cariño, eres cuesta. Nah, Tim, bro, he uh, funny nah, dog. My Spanish wasn't that great, but you get the point. Now every guy in school had a crush on Jenny. See, baby girl had that beacon. Booty. <laughs> Damn. Damn. See, somewhere around seventh or eighth grade, teenage bodies start maturing. Guys start having Facts. those great dreams, and girls start looking good. Now, in my school, we have one when it came to dating. Rule number one no kissing. Under no circumstances should one have the urge to lie down lips upon another on school campus. Rule number two no physical contact, period. Only Facts. thing allowed was holding hands Facts. after class. Now, come on, my guy. You know that's not going to fly. Boys are going to be boys. Now, I'm not advocating bad behavior because it's not right, kids. So I'm chilling. Then my homie Bill was like, Yo, Jim, bitch, you want to touch Jenny's booty? Gee, what you want to do? Hey, bro. You got to watch it, bro. You want, kid? Now, a dollar to a broke teenage kid was to die. Nah, I'm sorry, bro. You got to give me at least 10 or more, bro. You got to give me at least 10 or more. I couldn't do this at the high school. I was, I'm sorry, bro. I'm, 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 my uh, probably, probably won't be seeing me right now. <laughs> you feel me? Because I ain't go to a public school, bro. Mm -hmm. Now the strategy was simple. Nah, so what's a public school? Yeah, man, take this back. Like you feel me? I want to see so the like reaction, though. I ain't gonna count. Yo, hurry up, kid. You gotta do it before lunch is over or the bed is off. Damn, I got you. So I walked close up to Jenny, got my hands nice and ready, bumped into her, and went for the booty. Damn, kid, you want to touch that booty? <laughs> now, my plan was solid, but this fool Bill said it out loud, thereby causing Jenny to know this wasn't an accident. Tell him, did you just grab my butt on purpose? Whoa! Okay. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, kid. Stop lying. Yeah, I'll tell you why he did it now. <laughs> Brother, uh, instigator is crazy. Oh, I can't wait to get my boyfriend to kick your ass. See, Jenny's boyfriend was in the eighth grade and on the wrestling team. Bro, what are you gonna do, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So onward, and I'm in eighth period. Damn, I gotta figure a way to win this fight. Should I run away like a bitch? Oh, Can't run away. Funny. What do I do? Can't duck, man. You know what I'm saying? You wanna do it for a buck? Hey, I'll show this movie real quick. Now I'm broke. Bro, test it out for a buck. Just a few minutes, I would have to fight a bigger, older, and better fighter than me. But a punch like Mike Tyson, man, you know what I'm saying? Fight in front of the whole school. So class ends, and I'm tripping. Yo, Chip, you all right, kid? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Nah. This nigga right here, if I get my A whoop, I am whooping him too, bro. I'm sorry, I don't give a crap with my boy or not. You're getting whooped. Oh, bye. No cow. You're think getting whooped. Serious. Come on, let's roll. <coughs> now I don't know how this I'm happens. I'm not going to hold you, my boy. You're getting whooped. When there's a fight about to happen in school, word spreads to everybody. Everybody, oh, bro. Bye. So I get out the class, get to the parking lot, and all Bro, you know who was cap? Food fights be cap, bro. I never seen a food fight ever, yeah. bro. So you're the guy that grabbed my girl's butt. Um, it was an accident. Well, how about I accidentally shove my fist up your face? Damn, see so what's gonna happen. Now, like I always say, never give your opponent the first ring. You, my guy, must have the element of surprise. Yo, it's Principal Johnson. Wait. Damn, no, he did that. No cap. You see that? Now that's called the element of surprise, using one's fear against it. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna cap. Like my fist up your face. Oh, that Mr. Johnson's coming. Now look what we got here. What's going on? <laughs> now I would have took off. Ain't gonna lie. Punch me. What? Did this fool just snitch on me? Mr. Tim. <sighs> Somebody snitched on me, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm seeing you to the gulag, bro. Did you just hit this Not young man? Cap. Uh, yeah, but I was protecting myself. Just as, and of course, all the kids had dipped, and no one could back up my statement. You two come to my office. <laughs> and then the homeboy, where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, yes, yeah, say, oh, homeboy, he would have been off. Punch me first. No, no, that's not how this works. You're supposed to report it to the school principal, Quinn. He would have been off. I, I would never talk to him ever again, bro. I'm sorry. That's not happening, bro. I think it's always there for the whole week. And if I hear anything else concerning this issue, you will be suspended. Got it? Yes, sir. So we get out the office. I ain't gonna lie. Away, and that's what I remember I having an after school suspension, bro, when I was a young kid, bro. I was low key a bad kid, but at the same time, I was a quiet kid, bro. Oh, my God. That after school life. suspension was low key live. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm not, I'm not like, like, don't go to after school suspension, bro. Like, that's not a good place to go. I'm not gonna count, you know what I'm saying? You should be in school learning, bro. You feel me? What's up, bro? 
Thank but you. hey, man, got another bang from my boy Tom to tell, man. I know he be doing his shout outs and everything, you know what I'm saying? Feel me? Uh, yeah, that's it, man. You feel me? New mates, I got a comment on the road TK. But like I was saying about uh, after school suspension, bro, that's not a fun place. You feel me? Uh, I actually got a revoke, man, because like the, the middle school I went to, it was like, uh, I've been there, it's like a first, like, it's like a younger, like, set, like, pre-K all the way up to eighth grade, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I got my suspension up. You know what I'm saying? Uplifted, man. Seventh grade, I was a bad kid. I ain't gonna count, bro. <laughs> I was a very bad kid, seventh grade, bro. Like, I got write ups in this one math class, like, every single day, bro. You feel me? He ain't gonna lie. In the fence, some days I ain't do nothing, bro. Bro, just give me a write up, man. I know if y'all in seventh eighth grade, watch me, bro. Just, just, just like stick to your stuff, bro. Do not do not go to suspension, bro. Stick to your class, you know what I'm saying? Get so grades, bro. So I can say, man, you basically, I'm gonna go to K. You know what I'm saying? Spoilers, you're done, man. I'm